In regards to uh, excise tax, this is another of the math calculations. Not extraordinarily difficult, but very specific. When you're calculating excise tax, I want you to understand that it is a state tax. In other words, it's the state of North Carolina. A state tax on the conveyance of real property, on the sale of real property. It's a sales tax. And the fact is that the excise tax is always paid by the seller. It's a seller debit on the settlement statement. Now, having said that, let me remind you of the formula for excise tax. Excise tax is uh, $1 per 500 of sale price. $1 per 500 of sale price. If the sale price is evenly divisible by $500, this is a very simple problem for you. A sale price of $200,000, you would simply divide $200,000 by 500 and you would see that the excise tax is $400. And of course, that's a $400 debit to the seller. Very, very simple. Well, of course, nothing can be completely simple. So the state of North Carolina does this. Technically, excise tax are charged at $1 per 500 of sale price or any portion thereof. Now, what we mean by any portion thereof is if it's not evenly divisible by 500, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to round up. You always round up when it comes to our excise tax. So let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. What if the sale price were $249,600? Now, looking at that root right there, you see, of course, that it's not evenly divisible by 500. But what I like to do is just simply take that number, divide it by 500, and you'll see a number in your calculator that looks roughly like this, $499.2. Well, here's something you need to know. Excise tax, the answer is never going to be point anything. Do you remember that $1 per 500 or any portion thereof? When this came up to be anything below evenly or above, evenly divisible above 500, you just simply round up to the next one whole dollar. So 499.2 becomes $500. $500. So excise tax, $500. Debit seller, don't forget the rule, round up to the next one whole dollar. This will be a big deal when we start doing settlement statements, and we will belabor this point at that particular point in time. Excise tax, I promise you, will never be a certain amount of dollars in some sense. Always round up.